We start with a top 10 matchup, undefeated rugby and number eight Shiloh Christian. Let's not waste any time. Rugby led by Jaden Hamilton and Jaden Mitzel for the Skyhawks, the two Jadens. Mitzel with the first blow, drives, fouled, and gets it to go. 30 points for him on the night. 12-2 run for Shiloh Christian to start. But the Panthers playing with pace up ahead to Hamilton, who gets the fast break point. But now, right before the half, how about this shot from rugby's Trace Govin? Makes it a 10-point deficit at the half. Now, 1.7 seconds to go. Rugby needs a three to tie. Govin is fouled. But only two shots as it was before the shot, and that's how it ends. Shiloh Christian hands the Panthers their first loss, 66-64. To another good game, the girls matchup of rugby and Shiloh Christian to the first quarter. Grace Kelly kicks it to Kelsey Michelle, who literally is kicked in the shoulder by a defender. Knocks it down, though, anyway. 12-8 deficit for the Skyhawks, but rugby would take over a bounce pass to a rolling book. Brooke Blessem inside gets the shot to go. Panthers with the answer and off a miss three. It's Blessem again inside being a force, getting the putback. Rugby wins a close one, 51 47. Moving to Class A, where Minot was hosting Devils Lake Firebirds, the top team in Class A non conference game, though. First quarter, Devils Lake Maya Barrett takes the pass and drains the three. And then on the fast break, Ramsey Brown. Getting it to go on the traffic with the contact. And after a 10-0 run, Majette's Paige Rosencrantz drives all the way for the nice land. But it was Firebirds early and 71-39 the final. How about on Rolla and Max? We have a good one here. Third quarter action off the missed shot. Max's Gage Yellowbird re rebounds and puts it back for two. And then showing some strength by Keon White gets his own rebound. And again, the putback. And then Rolla, not done, yes, when Xavier Mitchell takes the handoff and drives and hits the tough layup in traffic off the inbound as well. Mitchell Lees drives, muscling it away in. It's Rolla who ends up taking this one, 81-64. Elsewhere, Dickinson Trinity takes down Bishop Ryan, 70-45. to Some Class B scores, Hazen tops Washburn, Bishop Ryan edges Dickinson Trinity, and the Class A legacy ends up sweeping Wilston on the road. Shifting to college basketball, you marry on the road at Agastana and Sioux Falls. Marauders, men hoping to avoid a weekend road trip without a win. Second half, Matthew Mary down six. Matthew Kreklow kicks it to Wyatt Carr, cashes in three of his 13 points. Marauders cut the deficit down three. A few possessions later, Hagi gets the ball to Tyler Ramirezma with the elbow. Through the contact, two of his 13, Vikings up seven, and Augie stretching the lead to 10 with Kate Amundsen to Connor Hellebust off the bucket and the foul, but you marry, they're going to fall on this one, 76-68. Moving to the women. We're looking for their fourth straight win on the road. Hot early. We look good. Swing pass to Megan Voigt in the corner. Nails the three. Three of her team leading 20 points on the game. But the Vikings go on a 16-0 run. Capped off by this three from Augie. Mackenzie Zilverberg, a 13-point Umary lead. Gone. Could Umary get back on track? Lauren Rotunda finds Coral Gillette for the long-distance shot. Umary, however, drops a tough one, 80-73. Minot State at Wayne State today. You marry or Minot State women lose by one. The men there as well losing by nine.